Good morning, folks. If you missed our Solar Micronova video last night, it is definitely a must watch today. We've got a lot to cover today, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star at spaceweathernews.com. Northern plasma filament destabilized, new bright points emerging, but no solar flares and no Earth directed eruptions. Heading over to the solar wind, we find stable conditions with the KP on a string of ones lasting two days as of this morning. So let's go to southern Japan where a disaster is unfolding. Major flooding is overtaking entire regions, causing major mudslides. Numerous people are missing and presumed dead, inundation of metro regions and its submerging homes. There are three most active regions for blood echoes at the moment, Japan, Chile, and Mexico getting on the board while the other side of the Caribbean plate takes one above average. Eyes open and full factors for future rumbles can be found at quakewatch.net, the prediction center. Let's ease into the science today at NGC 2275. They say the extra large central bulge is so empty because it has used up all its star forming material in the interior region. The coherence of the outer structure pattern, despite its central disconnectedness, is indicative of a large scale galactic field structure. Up next, let's find the most massive terrestrial exoplanet known. Terrestrial meaning hard, rocky, or icy surface like Earth, Mars, or Pluto. But they say this monster exoplanet at about twice the mass of Neptune is likely just the remnant core of a gas giant or one that failed to form an atmosphere. The idea is that they would normally expect the planet to look like this, but whether it is due to a migration of the planet inwards or it forming too closely to its parent star, it now doesn't have an atmosphere and just the rocky terrestrial world remains. Stepping out to the galactic level, we investigate the strangest element of the galactic central region, the tilted disk. This is not like the interior torus, the wavy disk in the interior, or the gamma ray lobes of the Fermi bubbles. This is ionized gas, plasma. And they say it's not only misaligned with the rest of the galaxy, but they can't figure out how it's so ionized, what the source of that ionization is. Well, the answer would be that the large scale structure I mentioned before obviously has its core node in the central region of the galaxy, but also that is where the interior plasma torus exists, likely aiding in the ionization. Why it is tilted, however, that is a good question. Let's bring it back to the sun because we're getting a solid confirmation and quantification of the importance of sun facing side of Earth during solar storms, day versus night. It's not subtle. Solar flare atmospheric ionization hits exactly half the Earth at any time. The energetic proton radiation storms feed through the interplanetary magnetic fields, funneling into the north polar cusp. The equatorial magnetospheric compression during CME impact directly affects the circuit and pressure cells, but only below the impact. While geomagnetic induction tends to globalize, especially during the geomagnetic storm phase, numerous jabs come to just the day side before that. Well, folks, after the fireworks tonight, you have a good opportunity to see a celestial splendor. If you live in the white or gray regions, you can see tonight's eclipse. It's pre-sunrise for Europe, midnight, or a bit earlier for the Americas. It's going to be partial, but it will be full for the rest of the evening, offering a chance to see two different phases in one night. Speaking of fireworks, last night's video was about the ultimate fireworks, the solar micronova. Whether you choose to come from a galactic astrophysics perspective or the Earth evidence of the disaster cycle, there is only one finish line. We also got a good new look at the current sheet in that video, elucidation of trigger mechanisms and application to geophysical hints of catastrophe. Folks, we greatly appreciate your support. Links to everything we mentioned are right below the video. Watch the Micronova special from last night. Even if you are familiar with the topic, there's a new perspective around every corner. We've got your wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close. And of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.